Yeah guys, I'm here in uh, Soy Buco, uh, the beer hut. Uh, I'm gonna try a meal here. I was doubting between a breakfast and uh, a steak, Silouan steak. So I'm gonna choose the Silouan steak and it's only 300 baht. So I will show you inside here. So this place is located here, Soy Buco, uh, Tree Town, opposite Chunky Monkey, as you can see here. I have to try that place also out. Um, but maybe another time. Yeah. And I'm here with Nick. Hi, Nick. Hello, Steph. Hello, people. He's gonna try uh, the breakfast. I've had it before. It, yeah? it, it, it was um, okay. It's all right. It's not a, um, you know the best, but it's, it was good for the price. Yeah, yeah. You I have the, the English or the American? I've had the English. English. No, the English. I think so. I hope yeah. so. We will see. Yeah. What's an American one? That's a pancake, isn't it? Yes, yeah, <laughs> pancake. Pancake and sausage. <laughs> But it was more expensive also, right? 179 baht? Yeah, 179 yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that's about average item. You know? I mean, if, when I, if I go down to the 99 baht reference, yeah. you're not going to see quality for me. It's a bit of an entry. We will see inside. It's a nice place. It's a, it's a round uh, circle building. Uh, but inside there's a lot of music. Uh, it's like a discotheque inside. And it's air conditioned? Yeah, it's air conditioned. Yeah, yeah. But um, we're going to go inside now. Our food is arriving. and. Show you the food inside. Okay. Bye -bye. Better here. Take a quick look inside here. Nick has his breakfast already. Yeah. And this is my first full breakfast in oh. back in Pattaya. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, think you missed that. Huh? Can you eat that in uh, Indonesia no. also? No. 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 no, no. You can't even get anything close to it. Yeah. That's one of the only downsides. No, well, I mean, no. the food's good anyway, but you do miss no, no, no. stodge. So, yeah, you've got your toast, which is not, never cooked enough in Thailand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, orange juice. That's plenty enough. Beans in a Ponzi pot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the sausage is good. You've got um, bacon and yeah, it looks ham, fried ham as well. And good presentation. Good ah, presentation. Yeah. The tomatoes are um, well cooked as well. I like them. Mm. And ash brown. And the eggs are well done. Was so I like mm. them. Yeah, I'm still waiting for my steak. It's the big boss here, huh? I think. No? Big boss? You? Or small boss? You. <laughs> Is the place owned by Indian people, or the big boss from India? Yeah, yeah. He, he never come here, no. He never comes here. Sometimes. Oh my God, he fly off before last night. Oh, oh good. Yeah. <laughs> now you're big boss. Big <laughs> boss. I have five buttons here. Yeah, yeah. It's a nice place, but it's, it's not, not busy now. Mm. It's not busy now. Eh? No, where's busy? Low season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Nick will let us know uh, how it was in the end. Eh? Gonna stop filming here. Fuck! <laughs> Damn it. So the red wine sauce is very good already. I tried it with the french fries. Mm. Steak looks good. It's a little bit greasy here, but we can cut that off. But I'm gonna taste it now, I'm hungry. Nick is having his breakfast. Okay, now. I think it's good. It's very good actually. Yeah, yeah. But we're gonna talk about that later. We're gonna eat now. Oh, 
one more. Oh. Oh, one more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was very busy there. Yes. They yeah, had yeah. Uh, the music and the DJs outside there. I think it depends on what time maybe. Yeah. It's not known as a breakfast place. Uh, I yeah. mean, uh, not a lot of, if you, you're a British guy like me, you're going to go for breakfast. You're going to go for like Nicky's Bar or one of the retoxies, uh, something like that. Not the normal place you would go to. And plus you've got that little bit of American thing to it. So maybe if you Americans, mm. it's okay. But uh, not as a British breakfast for me. But it was okay. It was okay. Yeah. Six and a half out of ten. Sounds fair, yeah. So, Steph, I, 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 what about you? Didn't have the breakfast, did you? You had a. Uh, I had a steak, yeah. Uh, just a normal sirloin steak. How oh, you say that? Was it sirloin? Was it sirloin? Was it sirloin, yeah. was it sirloin or was it uh, a. Uh, I can't remember. Pepper steak, maybe? Hang on, let's start this again uh, in a second. I think. I, think, I think, paid about 300 baht for the steak. Yeah. It was the most expensive steak they had, I think. Maybe yeah. the T bone is a little bit more expensive, yeah. But I've made about three on my bar today. But to be fair, when it came, you said it's not cooked. No, if I'm honest, Steph, when I go to a lot of places, I will, unless it's somewhere like Beef Eater or Patrick's, I will say well done. I will always say well done because you get a bit of fat and a bit of gristle in that meat, so it needs to be well done for me. You, always... you, said, you said medium rare. Yeah, medium rare, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's not a good option in many places, I don't think. But it wasn't good, was it? Uh, to be honest, no, it wasn't good. Uh, first time. Uh, what was it the first time? It was overdone, I think. Overdone. No, 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 no. It wasn't done at all. The second time, no, no, no. it was frozen inside. No, no. The, the first time. The first time it was frozen inside. No. I think the second time. No, it was the first time. The first time it was frozen inside. But um, to be fair to them, Steph, to be absolutely fair, she was sorry and she came back and she did you another, didn't she? Yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah. So, 
And she was very friendly, uh, you know, the, the manager. She was friendly, yeah. But uh, also the first time, uh, the meat was frozen before. And you could see that on the texture of the meat a little bit. And they uh, put it in a microwave or something to defrost it. And then put it in a pan or something. Because the texture was not... That, to me, that's always not yeah. good when they defrost it. Uh, but you have I, to keep in mind it's 300 baht, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But saying that, we've had better for 300 baht. Yeah. The steak place you to me too, which I put on my um, 2,000 baht challenge. Oh yeah. That was brilliant for, for, for 300 baht. Yeah. But we went, um, we went for a steak yesterday and the Goethe uh, scored. Uh, it was 450 baht and it was a pretty good steak. I would yeah. Say. Yeah. It's uh, in between uh, normal Thai steak and uh, good uh, grass-fed uh, steak from a uh, beef eater. You know. Yeah. Price was in between, so but now we'll do that uh, video later. Ah, uh, you you saying beef eater? Come on, beef eater. Beef. I have. Uh, I, I didn't win there this trip. But it's good though, isn't it? I wanted to go, but yeah. It's good though. Yeah, it's the best year of the time. You, you bang on right there. There's only two places for me for steak. And it's Beef Eater and Patrick's. Yeah, Patrick's Patrick right is opposite. Across the, yeah. across the side. And he's from Belgium as well. He's from Belgium, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, Steph. The, 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 beef, the, the steak at Patrick's is slightly less uh, than Beef Eater, but only slightly. Slightly. Yeah. Slightly. But people say to me. Also a little bit, yeah. But I do like Patrick, he's a lovely guy. Yeah. Uh, and very yeah. nice. Very, he has very good nice. Belgian guy. food, good yeah. quality. And, 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 and when it comes to service with, with Patrick's, Patrick's always there. And he'll mix with the crowd and you know, come and speak to you yeah, and explain yeah. things. That's what I love about that. That okay, beef eater might be slightly taste better, but yeah. But Patrick, you get that that service, that brilliant yeah, service. That's true, yeah. Anyway, Steph. Yeah. Take care, my friend. Thank you for watching. This is my last day. I'm gonna go back to Belgium tomorrow. So uh, I'm doing this interview with Nick now, one month later, uh, that we had uh, the stay there at the beer yeah, yeah. yeah. Three weeks later. <laughs> Three weeks later, yeah. unbelievable. But still, we finished it. Thank you for watching. Give a thumbs up. And uh, Nick, see you maybe in September. Thank you, Steph. All the best, guys. And all the best to you as well, Steph. Yeah. Have a safe journey. Thank you.